So I guess it's like wishful thinking. It's like if you knew what the end of the world was, and this stuff is like changing like every day on a regular basis. Well, I guess, you know, the, this nice, but nobody ever actually even said that, that this specifically is the end of the world. And uh, I guess there's a lot of shows on it. I guess uh, they're really trying to, I don't know what it is, the emotional aspect. Keep them engaged, keep them entertained, I don't know. Sure, let's play some guitar, let's do some artwork. Sorry, do, do some painting. But a, a political activist. Well, did you vote? No, I don't vote. I'm a Brahmana. I'm a Brahmana priest. That, uh, that is voting is not uh, sattvic unless I'm actually going to vote for someone who's, uh, you know, worthy. You know, you have to be a, a Raja Rishi. Yeah, you actually have to be um, saintly kings, self-realized saintly kings. Actually, you know, what we're actually even saying in Ishkan, it's not even required to be self-realized. It's a specific process that, um, you know, that is uh, authorized. The specific bija is actually planted in your heart at the time of a fire sacrifice, and the fire is the mouth and tongue of Vishnu. You know, see, these things we're not ac accustomed to. You know, you got a guy who's waving the Bible around, he's yelling, screaming, shouting, throws it down on the ground, stomps on it so that he's on the soapbox, and you know, what, what's that? That's completely disrespectful. This horrible looking guy, yelling and screaming about God, and Jesus, and the devil, or whatever, throws the Bible on the, on the ground, and stomps on it so that he's standing on the soapbox. <laughs> You can throw something else down on the ground and stand on a soapbox, but you, that's your scripture, dude. <laughs> you know? Yeah. That's your life and your heart and your soul, man. That's to be protected. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you know, we just, you know, we just don't have any proper training. You know, it's like, hey, you know, somebody's insulting my intelligence just because they're goddamn fucking ignorant. You know, I don't have to stand there and keep them in my damn face, but if they're going to keep pursuing and keep getting in my damn face and are a goddamn ignorant fool, and then all of a sudden fucking smart, start talking like a goddamn fucking rocket scientist that fucking, you know, all of a sudden there's a plan in place and, and uh, you know, all, when you, there was that one chick, you know, she was all strong on that stuff, but all of a sudden she gets awfully smart. She sure was a dumb blonde, you know, and she just had everybody play, you know, and she thought it was funny, you know, but you don't go pulling stupid crap and think shit's funny and get awfully smart, play really damn stupid all the time to your friends and stuff, you know. And yeah, just like everybody else, yeah, you got it. I wanted to ball her. <laughs> Everybody wants to ball. Yeah, I want a ball, man. But uh, I don't know.